My name is Barry Allen, and I am the fastest man alive. To the outside world, I'm an ordinary forensic scientist. But secretly, with the help of my friends at Star Labs, I fight crime and find other many humans like me. You have a problem? Yeah, we do. He's still here. <laughs> Let's go. Comedy, the obvious. I made a pact to justify my presence on your Earth, and I think I got something. I'm all ears. Okay. I read every news report I can get my hands on, and I have come to the conclusion that this very operation is a ticking time bomb. What do you mean? You can't spend all your time working on working on whatever whatever this is. This this is a very delicate set. No, you don't. Hey, baby. Everything good? Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, dinner will be ready in a jiff, okay? She buy it? I think so. Keeping her in the dark, it's for her safety. That is debatable, and we will have that debate. But for right now, what's her next move? How do we figure out what Wells is up to? Do not dance at our wedding. Well, I can promise you that. <laughs> not the wedding, but dancing. What? I don't know. I just think it's weird that we're married in the future and on Earth, too. <laughs> I wonder what our married doppelgangers are doing tonight. Uh, probably Earth 2's equivalent of Netflix and chill. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds nice. I mean, for them. I am the impossible. We built that cell so you couldn't run your way out. I didn't run. Just stood still, really fast. You vibrated faster than the eye can process. Like your wife said, your brain may be smarter than mine, but your body is still human. It's over, Devoe. Far from it, Mr. Allen. doing it for me <laughs> to prove the impossible is possible how do you know that the streak may have talked to her Barry don't you think Iris would recognize your voice no I can do this cool thing with my vocal cords where I vibrate them that's why I sound like this <laughs> I know it's cool. cool whoa yeah and neutralized Yorkin. What did you do? I won. You didn't save her. Why? Why? You could have had the life you wanted. You could have had everything you ever wanted! I already do. Long. Okay, but that never gives us an excuse to shut each other out. I said drop it, all right? You think you're the only one who feels bad about Ralph dying? Guys. You know he came to see me at Iron Heights? 
He told me he was afraid. He warned me he wasn't ready. But I pushed him anyway. I said, go back out there and do my job, my burden. We made the bus mess. We gave Ralph his powers. You want to talk about burdens? I started this. Uh, I shot that bazooka. I opened up the speed force. And I didn't do it so you could stand here and tell me you're going to save the world alone again. I, I know that. 